When your battery goes dead, everything can come to a stop. Don't take a chance on getting stranded. Stop by O'Reilly Auto Parts and get your battery tested free of charge. If your battery does need to be replaced, O'Reilly Auto Parts can help you find the exact superstart battery that fits your car or truck at a guaranteed low price. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Dr. Renee Sunday, and welcome to Good Thieves Radio. You're listening live. You may be listening to the archive, but we just want to say thank you for joining me into another session, another episode. Well, what we do here at Good Thieves, we help you shine your light to the world. And what that is, your light is your dreams, your goals, your passions, of course, your destiny in life. And I am your host. I am Dr. Renee Sunday. I am the platform builder. So what I do is I help people identify their purpose if they're not aware. And then we build a platform to be seen, be heard, and guess what? Get paid. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) So that's what we do through radio, TV, publishing, through speaking, through all the things that we have been entrusted to do. But the goal is, guess what? We need to take the need and the pain away of somebody else. That's what the goal is. That's what our passion is, and that's what our mantra is. You know, I just love it, love it. We're going to get to our question of the day. The question of the day for Dr. Renee, um, of course, you know, my team is just handing it to me. (laughs) But this question is from, oh, it was actually three people sent in a similar question. Uh, The question was about Dr. Renee, Dr. Renee, you say a lot of times believe, trust, and walk it out. Tell us how you actually have been able to do that, believe in yourself, and then you truly, truly believe in others as well. Mm, that's what the question is. And let's just say, mm, let me see how I'm going to tackle that. You know, that's, that's true to my heart, right? You know, the thing is, because if you don't believe in yourself, if you're not your own cheerleader, guess what? Who's going to be your cheerleader? Uh, I always say that, but you know my faith is in God. That's where my faith is. Um, I, I cannot do this on my own, on my own natural uh, things. You know, my own, <laughs> just a naturally I can't. I have to have him in my life. I have to have his grace and his mercy, and I have to have him trusting me to do what I need to do in life. But you always, you have to always, because all of us have been through things in the past. You have always have been through things that you understand and things you don't understand. And the thing is, you have to continue to move forward. You know, I always say, don't stop what it said. Get it, get it. That's what I always say. And I say that because that's what I, the way I live. I believe in myself. I believe whatever happened in my life, from the bullying, from losing my job, not once but twice, but going down, you know, losing six figures in one day, huh? being that overachiever, being the one that, that had to forgive others and forgive myself, the one that had to go through rejection on the job, rejection in the church, amen? I had to realize that this whole journey, number one, is not about me. And another thing is I have to go past, when people say going through, that means you're going past the situation and realize that you're not, as the word says, you're not fighting against that person, but you're fighting against that spirit that have, you know, that's in them. And you have to just forgive people, you know. You have to really do that. And I have been able to do that with the grace of God, of course, <laughs> in my life. And I believe in myself, and I truly believe in others. I do not believe in this mentality, as so many people believe, that they believe that if they teach somebody else the same thing they're doing, that they would do it the same. No, because when you interview with me, that would be a totally different interview if you interview with somebody else, okay? And then the things that I do, I empower people to step out in faith because, as the word says again, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. But you have to step out and take that action. Uh, as my team will tell you, I'm very diligent in the things I do. I do my diligence. I research. I research. I research. 
and I come up with plan A, B, C, D, and F, okay, <laughs> and maybe in G, because sometimes you may think of a thing, but all of us, and I'm saying all of us, do have a blind spot. So you, that's why I love having a team. That's why I love, you know, having a coach and a mentor that actually can tell me the things that I don't see. But I truly, truly believe in myself. If you know anything else about me, I do truly believe in affirmations. I do affirmations every morning. I do my meditation every morning. I read my word. All of us can do better in all of those things, right? We can all do that, right? But the thing about it is we need to remember that what we do can help somebody else. That's the thing about it. We have to realize that we are here not for ourselves. But you know, I'm going to continue this conversation. We're going to take a little break, and we're going to actually uh, get one of our sponsors in here, and we're going to take a break, and I'm going to continue that conversation of how you should believe in yourself. And I'm going to give you three things that we need to jot down that we actually need to take care of. And we're going to play the whole entire song that's coming up, because it says lift up, master. We need to lift up our heavenly father. We need to lift up Okay, we need to look beyond ourselves to know that it's something greater than ourselves. This is Good Deeds, and I'm Dr. Renee Sunday. We'll be right back. Praise the Lord. If God's been good to you, you ought to lift them up and give them the praise. So just lift them up with everything that you have. Just a little higher. Just a little higher. Just a little higher. Just a little higher, just a little higher, 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 higher. There was no other God that I can talk about. There was no one else who I can shout about. Jesus Christ is the one who came to bring me out. He picked me up and dust me off and cleaned me from the inside out. There was no other God who turns night to day. If you walk by faith, the Lord will hear you pray. The Lord is my strength. I trust my God in every way. The Prince of Peace is coming back and take me very far away. When I weep, my Lord. When I'm on my knees praying all night long This is my story, this is my song Weeping may endure at night, but joy is coming in the morning I'm not what I should be, but I'm not what I used to be I heard about a man who died for me to set me free He's coming back so I can live with him eternally If you want to fly away, come along and sing with me Just a little higher Just a little higher Just a little higher Just a little higher, just a little higher, just a little higher, 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 higher. He's everlasting and his love is unconditional. I'm not religious, but I'm speaking very spiritual. Some people go to church because it's traditional. But she doesn't believe he's returning because it's personal. You're the Alpha Omega, the beginning and the end. If I do what you say, then you consider me a friend. You gave them you big in the lion's den, and you told Nicodemus that he gotta be born again. The Son of God will be there with you, death and the fire. He said he will give you your every heart's desire. Just believe that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna to the highest. Savior of my soul, yes, he is my redeemer. He came into my life and corrected my demeanor. I preach about the word because I am a believer. And he's your holy child and appointed me a preacher. Just a little higher. Oh, thank you, Lord. Just a little higher. Praise you, Lord. Just a little higher, 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 just a little higher, just a little higher, 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 He's a redeemer, he's a redeemer, he's a redeemer, my Lord is a redeemer. I'll lift my Savior up because he's taking me higher, just a little higher. Oh, we gotta lift him just a little higher. Taking me higher, 
This is John Schamberger, founder and CEO of Million Energy Trainings Only Only. We are proudly to support and listen to Good Deeds Live every Mondays and Thursday at 5.30 Eastern Standard Time with your host, the platform builder, Dr. Nate Sunday. So remember, wherever your mind can conceive and believe in your purpose, it can achieve. And don't stop. Get it, get it. Get it, get it. Welcome back, welcome back. This is Good Deeds, and I'm your host, Dr. Renee Sunday. We're going to continue our conversation. My team is getting our guests in prep. Uh, but the conversation that we were talking about is, how do you believe? That was the question. Three people sent in. Said, Dr. Sunday, how do you believe in yourself? Oh, my. And then just to extend what we were talking about, the three things that I've tell people and I tell my clients when I go speaking, I always tell people the things that you have to do is you have to show love. You show compassion and show love. You have to show love to people that they know that they that you care. Mm. A lot of people can say that they may not have experienced true love because people have said one thing and have done another. But what you have to do and what I try my best to do because it's none of us perfect, right? It's to show love. Have genuine care that you care about someone else's welfare. Now, if you're, you're a business owner, and I think a lot of you guys are, that's what you're supposed to do with your products and services. You know, we always talk about Chick fil A. We always talk, compare Chick fil A and meet the Home Depot and the different public, for example. But the thing is, customer service is very, very, very important. That means that you care about your customer. You care about your community. You care about your tribe. So that's very, very important, right? So I always show that compassion and love, right? The next thing is I always say you have to be authentic. One thing people know I'm the same. People laugh because it's so funny to them, but I'm the same on social media if I am when they meet me in person, okay? But that's the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be that way. It shouldn't be I'm one way behind the, the, the radio or one way behind social media when you see me in person at an event or speaking that I'm different. But, the, but people know when you're not telling the truth. Amen? We're going to throw an amen right there, okay? But you got to actually make sure that you be authentic. And the last thing I want to do, because my team's saying, Dr. Sunday, we ain't cute. Amen? The last thing we want to do is we need to be consistent. You need to be consistent in a thing, okay? You actually need to be, you know, and I understand about that, uh, maybe some rebranding or evolving in your brand because I, you see that in me. You know, now we have the Renee Sunday Enterprises. You know, at one time we just had the Renee Sunday. Let me say, first of all, it started out Renee Sunday Publishing Company, right? Then we went to the Good Deeds Radio and TV show. Now we have what? The Good Deeds Media Network, you know, because my name, okay, does not need to be in the brand because we actually have other people on the platform as well. Now, that was my decision. <laughs> Everybody has to make their decision, you know, with that because I want everyone to be able to shine a light. That's what the mission is, right, to shine a light to the world, right? So when you see the other people on the Good Deeds Media Network with their own radio show, podcast, and television show, Guess what? They, guess what? They telling you their brand. But let's just say this just real quick, real quick. Think about what's on television. Like Dr. Phil's show, he's on what? I think it's ABC, but don't quote me, but he's on a major network. But his brand is on that TV show, right? But the commercials and everything else and some of the advertisement is, is that major network. Own network, for example, all the Tyler Perry and all the different things that's on there. They're on that. So that's what we adopt that same concept because some other people do it differently, but that's what resonated with my spirit, okay? So you have to be consistent in the thing. But don't jump way over here to something and then way back over here to something else. Um, you know, you know, you, it's a way of rebranding. You can ask me because <laughs> you can see one thing that I have been consistent through all my brands is the colors because the colors mean something. And, and to me, and we can get in that later because I, 
got to do obey my team <laughs> because they they know how I can go in. I can talk when we don't have, you know, not prepared, right? That's the great thing of being a meal personality, the great thing of being an international speaker, that you need to be able to talk at even time. But we actually have an amazing, amazing young man with us this afternoon, morning, afternoon, depending on where you are. His name is William King Hollis. He's a highly sought after motivational speaker. Guess what? With over 50 million, and I said million, total views on YouTube and growing every second of the day, he actually has positioned himself on many, many, and I'm going to say many, platforms. And he actually is, guess what? He's 28 years old. I love it. I love it. He has had the opportunity to speak in many different arenas from school, colleges, youth conferences, even for the NFL. You see what I'm saying? And then also he actually was able to speak at a major fashion show in Italy. Isn't that amazing? But what I love, what I love, his goal is to empower, okay, this generation, you see what I'm saying, to recognize that anything, and I'm going to say it again, Anything is possible. So y'all thought I was doing something. It always worked out. Anything is possible if you believe in yourself. We want to welcome, welcome none other than William King Hollis to Good Deeds. Are you there? I'm here, Queen. Hello? Welcome to Good Deeds. How you doing? I'm doing good, Queen. It's an honor to be on the show. Yes, yes. Now, I, I have to do uh, 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 my team is saying, please, please, if you can, to turn, can you turn your volume up on your phone, please? Because we got to make sure we have a replay because I know everybody want to hear the amazing things that you're saying. If you can, William, please do that for us. All right. Are you there? William, are you there? All right. Well, my team is going to help him on this end to try to get that volume up, ladies and gentlemen. You know, technology is amazing when it's working, when it's working, when it's working. But uh, the amazing thing that this young man, he's changing the world in leaps and bounds, in leaps and bounds. Uh, did you did you come back in, William? Are you there? All right. Well, my team will let me know when he can come back in. But the, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you got to go check him out. Uh, the, actually, okay. Um, all right, William, are you there? All right, are you there, William? Hello. Oh, hold on, I guess. Here, I'm here. All right. Well, tell us a little bit more about yourself and the amazing things that's going on in your life. Uh, well, Queen, um, I started about three years ago. Um, I uh, cracked my vertebrae uh, playing ball over uh, in Canada and, um, you know, just was lost. They told me I couldn't play no more. I ended up um, in Philadelphia uh, on the side of a Turkey Hill gas station. Uh, went, proceeded down to Redding, Pennsylvania. Um, and volunteered to speak to a group of um, young kids at Reading, Reading Intermediate High School. And when I walked out that school, um, I was uh, basically ready to give up on life. I didn't know, um, you know, what to do with myself. Uh, I was lost. I was at the lowest point in my life. My mom had passed over heroin overdose. Uh, most of my family was, you know, it, it was it was almost like they were, they were disappearing. You know what I mean? And I was extremely lost. But what um, what happened was God gave me a gift that day when I walked in that school to give those kids um, a part of my life and, and a few lessons to help them get through life. So eventually, um, when I was walking out to school, literally uh, five, ten minutes later, they called me and said, how much you charge to speak? And uh, Queen, Three years later, uh, you know, we over 50 million views made history in Milan by, by just walking in faith and believing in God. And um, at this point, we travel in the world and, and, and we're shaking up the motivational industry in a major way. 
<laughs> I, I love it. I love it. That kind of resonates with what we were saying uh, earlier in the broadcast. It sounds like when you went in there, you just well, you were just yourself. Is that true? Is, and that's why I, I try yes. to tell people, especially in the speaking yes, industry and in any business, you need to be yourself. Are you agree? I agree a hundred percent, Queen. I think, and you know what's so crazy, Queen? Being myself was the secret weapon. That's the secret weapon because everybody is a carbon copy these days. So if you unique, you're going to stand out. And what you just said is so profound. And I'm going to use that. I use that for the rest of my career, Queen. I totally agree. <laughs> well, that's good. Well, well, tell me about this because of, and, and, I, and I like the way God orchestrated things in you because so many of our young people, and nothing's wrong with sports because I actually played basketball myself, uh, the, the, the skill set that we, that you have, that you, you know, even in being in a community, being in a team, and now you're able to tell those skills to the different young people and even adults how to cope in life. Where are we right now? I mean, you're a young man, and, and what can we do? Because, you know, everybody's saying we need to bridge the generation. The baby boomers are way up here with a lot of people, and then it's a lot of millennials. What's your, your take on that, how we can, first of all, how we can just get along? Well, Queen, I think it's a, uh, it's a huge disconnect between the older generation and the younger ger- generation because I feel like, in a way, that a lot of a lot of the older generation they almost stop having patience to learn the new generation. You know, the you know sometimes a lot of people all they want to do they want to change people they want to change people, but in reality, to to get to these young people these days, you got to meet them where they are. I don't I don't care if it's in the trap house, I don't care if it's in the club. If you want to change the the the, the dynamics between us as people, um uh, we gotta start learning each other and we gotta start helping these young kids that you know want help and they they they, they, they their parents was teenagers and they had to learn everything on their own. we they're dying for an old older voice and an older a teacher. Someone that makes us feel comfortable. You got to make them feel comfortable, Queen. And for, for us, I feel like our generation is moving in the right direction because what I've done for three years is I've been eliminating the NIGGA mindset and instilling a king and queen mindset. And I don't care what you say or where you go. You can go to the toughest neighborhood in any city in America. And if you call, walk up to the toughest man in that neighborhood, everybody in this neighborhood is scared of this man. If you call him a king, you're going to awaken something he's never felt in his life. And when you get called something enough, that's what you'll become. And, and I, I believe this generation is becoming what we speak. And I believe greatness. I think it's, it, everything gets bad before it gets better. But I think this generation is, is coming strong, and uh, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. definitely going to change the dynamic. <laughs> I, I love that. I love that because I love the millennials because if anything happened to my phone, I know they can take care of it. And, <laughs> and they come out with so many trends. What I do love, and I'm, you know, I'm not way up in baby boomers, but I, uh, I, I'm still hanging in there with y'all. I can, you know, I can cut the rug with you. But the thing that so that I love is you stand. Millennials in general stand up for what they believe, and and we. Truly, of course, my parents did, and then our generation started doing that. And I really treasure that because that means that they need help in regards of even mental health, physical health. They take charge in getting that done. So I really salute that because we truly didn't have that in my parents' age group. And it kind of a little bit in my generation, but I'm glad that the millennials are taking charge of that. Absolutely, absolutely. It's uh, it, it's it's very important, Queen. And um, like I told you, uh, you see, it's a lot of it's a lot of millionaire young kings and queens running around here that's nineteen, twenty years old that's learning about stocks, that's that's learning about uh, you know, uh, cryptocurrency. Uh, we're definitely growing, and, and we all and for 
for us, the number one thing is to break the, the generational curse of poverty. And um, I feel like uh, the 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 bar is starting to turn, so we can become even uh, with the rest of the world uh, finally. And we got the education to do so. So, uh, like I said, Queen, we, we're headed out a great a great. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, lo- a I great love place. it. I love it. Well, let me ask you this. Um, what's next for you? Because you've actually been able to, and, and I'm going to say the word tap in it, but ladies and gentlemen, you know what I mean by that. He's really in his purpose. It's because we have to get into these arenas that you go to, you know, the schools, the colleges, to the different, even the NFL, or the, you know, all the sports arena and places that people don't know how to speak to the people. So what's next on the horizon for you? I know it's more and more to come, but can you give us a sneak peek what's coming up for you? Well, right now, Queen, I'm actually, they just launched the number one motivational app in the world called Pep Talk. Uh, This app is a brain food app with some of the most um, uh, monumental uh, influencers that ever walked this earth. And uh, I'm actually the second leading follow leading followed uh, speaker on this app, and this app has Les Brown, Eric Thomas, Tony Robbins, all the best in the world. And what this app is showing the world currently, Queen, when you check it out, it's showing the world that the the tide of motivation is changing, Queen. It is a this generation, like 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 I said, Queen, is we started off in motivation with you can be all you can be, and this generation has been riddled with drug addiction. The heroin epidemic is bigger than the Great Depression at this very moment in the United States. And it's children and young young queens that's losing their parents to heroin overdoses like I did. And these kids are traumatized. So the motivation that you give these kids, it can't come from a bubblegum place. It comes from a, a place in your soul. Because the only way you can touch a blow, broken young king and queen, you gotta touch them at the, you gotta touch them in the heart. You have to touch them in the heart. And what what a lot of people say to me when I walk off the stage, um, they say, "Will, uh, you don't so much talk to us through our ears. Sometimes you almost talk to us through our soul." And what I tell them is, it's this simple. Imagine. 2,000 kings and queens standing on the cliff. And down, on, down on the ground of this cliff is 2,000 feet to the ground. It's rocks, it's needle, it's gravel. And they say, Mr. Hollis, you've got 35, 45 minutes to talk to these individuals, these kings and queens, off this cliff. That's how I attack every single event. And when you attack life that way, like it's bigger than yourself and life is on the line, you are able to accomplish and do some amazing things. And that's all I do because I tell the world, I was sleeping in my car when they flew me to Italy. The first speech that I ever spoke called Young King went over 1 million views two days ago. I made that speech while I was homeless homeless, and I freestyled it. I have freestyled every speech I've ever spoken and, I, and, and every speech I've ever created. I was a special education student. There's no way in the world that I was supposed to be on that app as one of the top new influencers in the world. But I tell people, God always, always takes care of those gifts that's at the bottom. And, and, and when, 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 when he makes you rich on the inside, before he makes you rich on the outside, that's when you become a true king. And I believe that's what he does for me. And like I said, he does this so when you get these opportunities, you learn how to help your brothers and sisters, lift them up. And like I told you, a man is not a man by his age. A man is a man by his experiences, and that's vice versa in anything in life. So I believe that's a, I can contest to that, to, to my humongous growth in this industry. And like I said, Queen, we're here to shake it up. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, my thing with the, this is a young man. <laughs> And he got great wisdom and great knowledge and the amazing things that wow. I, I just I know you shared a lot and I and I know you you go around the world uh, speaking. It's just international. But but take this last little time we have here 
and, and, and speak to someone that you know how, how things happen, how God orchestrates up. Someone may be touching on the, over on iTunes, YouTube, or even our website or social media and, and see just your, you know, just your name and they start clicking on it and they just feel just like what you said. They, they, they feel like they should just end it all. They just feel that nobody's loved them. Just take a, a, a couple of, you know, a little time there and speak to them because, like you said, everybody have greatness, but we actually sometimes need to speak that to that person. And then when you finish that, please, please tell us how we can connect with you with social media and also on YouTube as well. Yes, ma'am. Well, I want to tell the people today, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to continue to fight through that concrete. I want you to continue to try to rise into the roles that you were born to be because sometimes roses are born in the projects underneath this hard concrete. And if we don't continue to fight, if we don't continue to chase, if we don't continue to breathe, we're going to suffocate and die under that concrete. So what I want to tell you, kings and queens, today is in order to continue to grow, you got to burn those ships of your past because many times in life a lot of us are riddled and, and, and held back by our past demons. But I want you to know something. Your past demons are the very thing that you must eliminate. Just like weeds in the garden, if you disconnect those weeds from those beautiful flowers, the juices will continue to flow. And that's what you must do with your life, kings and queens. I want you to know something. Every single one of you are walking million-dollar checks. We're just waiting for you to sign that signature so we can give you the money that you deserve. Because let me tell you, no one on this earth is greater than another human being. It's just individuals that's willing to go into darkness, into nothingness, and go get their dream. So whatever you do today, kings and queens, remember that you are special, you are phenomenal, and you are the future. Cash your tech today. I'm William Hollis, and you can follow me on Instagram at William Hollis Speaks. You also can follow me on Facebook at William Hollis. You also can check out my website at hollismotivation.com. Stay tuned, kings and queens. The new generation is back the major way. <laughs> I love it. Now, you know he got me stirred up, ladies and gentlemen, so you know I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, my. William, I love it. I love it. I resonate with you. My brother's, well, my dad, of course, first uh, is first name William, and my brother's, his name was William. So, but I resonate with you. Uh-huh. We want to, first of all, I <laughs> see we got a connection going there. And um, just thank you so much for being in your purpose and not, not quitting and not giving up. And we thank you so much for being a guest here at Good Deeds. If you need us for anything, please, please don't hesitate to contact us. I will thank you so much, Queen. Hopefully we get to meet one day. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Yes, ma'am. Woo, yes, ma'am. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, uh, you know I'm off the top. <laughs> Y'all know I'm letting the speaker, preachers, all of that. But, yeah, I just love his spirit. I resonate with his spirit that we all have that greatness inside. I like what he said. I'm about to send his um, PR people to let him know. I'm going to use that. I'm going to give him credit. But I just need to sign that million-dollar check. Ah, ching, ching. Oh, God, that will go right good with the be seen, be heard, get paid, right? <laughs> but, anyway, I'm going to behave. Y'all know I love you. You know I love you. But you know what? You have to do that. Please, please connect with him. All his information be on our social media and also our website, YouTube, and also iTunes, okay? But see, you always, always remember you, you're amazing, okay? Yes, you, the one that's listening now saying, they ain't talking about me. We are talking about you, okay? But if you want to be a guest here on Good Deeds, if you want to launch your own radio show, podcast, or even TV show, uh, we can help you with that, okay? And also, if you want just to do a segment, some people have requested just to do one show to see if they, that feels resonate with them. But we also have publishing. If you want to know the fundamentals of publishing, if you want to publish your book, if you want to redo your book because you didn't sell, yeah, I know. It's on, you only sold 10 books, 200 books. We actually have those different packages as well. And also we have a nonprofit organization. We do live events all the time here in Atlanta. And actually we do, we're part of several different tours around the country. Uh, you know we're part of the NFL media. Out, yeah, the, the NFL, uh, we're part of their media. And also with Bishop T.D. Jakes, we're part of their media out, out staff as well. 
But you know, I'm so excited. I can't call God. But anyway, please, please remember that you always have a, you do have a caller. Mm. My team tells me to stop. <laughs> they know I get so excited. I forget everything, right? Our website is www.reneesunday.com. Again, it's www.renee, R-E-N-E-E, Sunday, S-U-N-D-A-Y. Always remember, you do have a calling. You do have a reason you were born. You're not a mistake. You got to do the three things. You got to believe. You got to trust. And you got to walk it out. You got to don't stop. You got to get it, get it. And you got to get your purpose. And you got to get your purpose now. You know, this is Good Deeds, and I'm Dr. Renee Sunday. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. When your battery goes dead, everything can come to a stop. Don't take a chance on getting stranded. Stop by O'Reilly Auto Parts and get your battery tested free of charge. If your battery does need to be replaced, O'Reilly Auto Parts can help you find the exact superstar battery that fits your car or truck at a guaranteed low price. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Oh, oh, oh.